Hey there guys, it's Rick here. Hope you're all doing extremely well out there. I know I am. I just wanted to let you know that it's a Black Friday sale over at my website, so it's currently 50% off all downloads. Uh, so if you want to head over there, I'll put the link in the description box below so you can just click away to your heart's content. Uh, check out the stuff that's over there. There's loads of content for you to get your teeth into and at 50% off, why not? Uh, you get some great educational material as well as supporting your boy. So what could be better? Anyway, I will leave you to it. I hope you have a great weekend and I will see you guys in that next video. Cheers. Okay, let's start with the next group of licks over our second backing track. So we're going to start with example number one. It's very similar to another one that we've already done in the first example, but takes it a little bit further. So it's this one. Okay, so that's the actual sequence. So let me show you exactly what that is. We're going to go, um, let me just move this. 12, 16, 14, 16, 12, 16, 11, 16, 14, 16, 12, 16, okay? So you see what I mean, it's very similar um, in terms of that pedal point lick there. And again, hammer on from nowhere there, it really works well. So next, 11, 12, 11, 14, 16, 14, 11, 12, 13, hammers from nowhere here, okay? Down to eight, hammer on to nine, and then 11. So, let me do that again. And then continue, nine, seven, two down strokes. And then continue the slurs here, 11, seven, nine, 10, 11, 10, nine, seven, nine, 11, okay. Okay, and th at this point, uh, well, it's not that, it's... So here, hammers from nowhere, then it's ring, middle, down stroke. And here we're just gonna go 11, 9, 8, 11, 9, 8, 11, 9, 11, 9. Okay. Okay, that's example number one. Okay, example number two. Again, we're using um, a similar sequence to one we used in the previous one, but again, this takes it a bit further. It's a bit, uh, well, it's a lot more challenging. So we're gonna do this. It's pentatonic three notes per string, starting at fret 11. 11, 16, 11, 14, okay? Then it's 11, 16, 11, 13. Then shift positions. Continue on. Okay, so. And then we end up on the top E string here. Uh, 16, 21, 16, 19, 21, 19, 16. Then we're gonna slide the index finger all the way up to fret 19. And here we get a tap at 24. Pull off, slide down, our little favorite minor shape. And then we're going to continue in the same way, so it's the same lick, really. So 
So that's that whole section here. Oops. Okay, so I'll do it nice and slowly. is lick number two. Okay, example number three now. We're gonna start here at fret 11 of the A string. And we're gonna play this pattern. Okay. So, down stroke, and then it's middle and down every time we cross strings. Okay, then going on to the next string, we get this. Okay, so it's... Continue on. Okay, so that's diatonic here. Okay, now when we move up to fret 14 here, so we've done 12 and we move into 14, we're going to descend using um, the pentatonic, three note per string pentatonic shape. Okay, so that's the pattern here. So, the way we do it is three notes, then one, whoops, then three, then we change positions, so. So let me do it slowly so you can see what's going on. Okay, that's example number three. Okay, continuing on, it's example number four. We get this sequence here, starting at fret 16 of the D string. Okay, so that needs specific practice on its own. I've left the uh, picking instruction um, blank on the tab as well because, um, you know, I change it every time I play it, really. Um, you know, sometimes I play it with hybrid, sometimes I pick, so it's totally up to you how you do that. So this is the pattern here, nice and slowly. Then we're going to shift up and play three note pentatonic, and then down. Descend through the scale. Okay, once we've done, let me do that again. Okay, that's the full shape here. Um, try and keep the movements as light as you possibly can, especially when you're, you're moving back through your positions there. Uh, So that is example number four.
Okay, continuing on, we're on to example number five over our second BT. And we're going to start here at fret 11 of the bottom E string. Okay, and it's a sequential pattern that ascends, but it's really important to keep the, uh, the rhythm tight here, the timing. So, this is our first part of the sequence. Okay, once you've got that down, you can just move it. Okay, so, and again. Continuing on. Okay. Okay, so that's the whole lick in itself. I'll do it nice and slowly. And actually with this one, you might want to practice it, you know, all left hand hammers only. God damn, my first finger is killing. I don't know if you can see it there, it's nasty. <laughs> anyway, uh, that is example number five. As I say before, it's well, well, well worth practicing this particular one with uh, just left hand hammers only. Uh, but you don't necessarily have to do that. Um, so a lot of the time, you know, just to, to keep the pattern moving and rolling along, I'll just use a, a middle finger and just hybrid pick it just to keep the pattern rolling, uh, if I feel like it, that is. So that is example number five. Okay, we're on to our penultimate lick here. It's example number six. We're gonna start here, fret 16 in the bottom E string. And we're gonna play this pattern. Okay. And that's based on uh, this pentatonic scale here, starting here, fret 16, minor pentatonic. But we just miss uh, some of the notes out. That's the technical way of explaining it. So we're going to go 16, 19, 16, 21, 18, 16, 20, 19, 16. And you should be used to this by now, this pattern. Okay. Okay, we've done this similar thing in a previous lick here, so you should be comfortable with this. We're going to slide down with the index finger and we're going to play diatonically here. Uh, scales. So it's the same sequence, just descending. So once we've done this, we're going to go slide 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 and finish so nice and slowly all together okay good that's example number six
And finally, we're on to the last lick, and it's pretty damn challenging, this one, example number seven. Once we've got the basic sequence, you know, it shouldn't be too bad in terms of figuring out what you're supposed to play and getting used to the shapes, because that's all it is. Again, it's just sequences, you know. So uh, this is our first sequence. Okay. And what we're gonna do here those hammer from nowhere, then ring, middle, down, pull off. Okay, then just move down diatonically. So same thing, so. Not the same shape, but it's diatonic, so. Watch out for this one, it's a bit of a stretchy one, this. Well, a bit of an awkward one. Continuing on. Okay. So let me just do that sequence. Once we're here, let me just get this up. Uh, we're going to go back to fret 13 and we're going to play um, pentatonic scale here. Thirteen, sixteen, fourteen, eleven, sixteen, eleven, fourteen, sixteen, fourteen, eleven. 16, 14, 11, 16, 11, 14, 16, 14, 11. We're going to slide up and do my favourite little. I think I'll do something end slightly differently on the, the examples, but you know, play around with it and come up with your own thing. Um, or just copy it from the lick example. So, uh, nice and slowly from the top. go that's all the licks done well done guys